you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. If you have not seen my latest video that Ant put out, like, I don't know if you guys know that he rides for me pretty hard, so I just want to say thank you. Um, talking about the various different experiences that I had in PA school, just a small minutia of them. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it. But other than that, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to make this video for you all because you've been asking me about like the certification process and just kind of like what comes after PA school. And so that's what this video is. Um, it's really going to kind of try and break down exactly what you have to spend money on after PA school. So you better save your coins, save that, that refund check because you will need it. All right, so immediately after graduating PA school, typically you will take like a week to three months or so to take your boards, you know, study for them, take your boards, pass your boards, right? That is usually like your hopefully prayerful sequence of events. Your boards cost $500 like off the bat. So that's $500 that you're going to have to spend right when you're out of PA school uh, to take your boards to become certified. So once you are a certified physician assistant, that's where kind of the fun begins. Um, you're not able to really work yet because you still have to get licensed, right? So depending on the state that you live in, your license may cost different amounts of, of money. Um, my state license cost $200. So where I was at, I had to pay after I passed my boards and paid $500 for that, I had to pay another $200 to get licensed so that I can put that I am a licensed physician assistant on my resume because that is something that like people are looking for. Like, do I, am I going to have to take an extra six or so weeks after I've hired you to actually get you licensed to be able to work in my practice or in my hospital. Because it is a process to get licensed um, and all of the various different credentialings that comes along with that. So once you have actually been certified and you've paid to get your license, um, there's also this thing, like once you like are officially a PA, like I just want to touch on that first, um, NCCPA says congratulations. And there's also like a fee. It's a certification maintenance fee. That's $180. It is due prior to your license, um, expiring. So next year, or so I can pay it now if I want to, but within these next couple months, I will have to pay a certification maintenance fee of $180. So that's also something that you should really be thinking about prior to graduation. Um, how do you want to spend your money going forward? So after you've paid that fee, you've gotten certified, you've gotten licensed, um, you're shopping around for jobs, uh, you're also going to need to pay for your CDS license and your DEA license. So your CDS license is your controlled drug substance license. Now you need your CDS license to actually file for your DEA license. Um, in my particular state, you cannot get a DEA without a CDS license number. Um, that's what you have to put in your application. And to get your CDS, it takes anywhere from four to six weeks. Obviously with coronavirus, like your states may be moving a lot slower than usual. So it might like compound that. Um, but no, actually, sorry. So it takes about, it usually takes two to four weeks to get the CDS license in my state, but because of coronavirus, it said that it was taking four to six weeks. So that was something that I had to deal with um, while I was like going through this process because I literally was getting my CDS right when, like three days before everything started shutting down for the coronavirus. So that's something to take in mind. Now, for all of you PA students that are going to be graduating um, in the next few days and few months. So after you get your CDS license, which again can take anywhere from four to six weeks, then you can actually apply for your DEA license. Now this is like the big daddy of them all because it costs the most. To get your DEA license, it is $731. Now your DEA is renewed every three years and so is your CDS. So you will obviously be shelling out this, um, the CDS costs $120, so you'll be shutting out about like $900 every three years to maintain these licenses. 
So once you have actually finished and you've gone through and you've paid for your certification, you paid for your license, you've paid your um, maintenance fee, you've paid for your CDS license and your DEA license, you will then also need to pay for your delegation agreement. Now, some jobs pay for that um, when they're hiring you because you're getting a delegation agreement with the physician that you will be working with. So they're gonna just automatically pay for that, but some don't. And so before you get hired, uh, you just need to make sure that you have that money set aside so that you know exactly like, hey, I have up to $300 for this delegation agreement. My delegation agreement cost $220 that I had to pay out of pocket, but then was reimbursed um, after everything went through with like my credentialing and all that stuff through the hospital. So that was something um, that was really beneficial to me because I got reimbursed. So it wasn't fully out of pocket, but initially you need to make sure that you have that money. So if we just go through and add all of these numbers up, like you need to have just kind of stashed away about $2,000 after you've graduated from PA school just to start working as a PA. So that's a lot of coins. So I'm telling you guys this because not everybody knows that, hey, there's gonna be other fees that you're gonna have to pay after you've graduated from PA school. Um, and not everyone knows exactly what those fees are. So I wanted to let you guys know because it is important to know what you're gonna be spending your money on. Hopefully this was helpful to you. This was kind of part of the certification process. There is more to go through with it. Um, and I will do more videos on that in the future. But if you have not already done so, please like this video, subscribe. It really helps my YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I will talk to you guys next time.